Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am going to present my latest research result on Android security, system security. The title is Coming Back, Attacks on System Server and System Apps in Android Through Synchronous Callback. My name is Kai Wang. I am a PhD student from University, University of Chinese Academy of Sciences. I am doing my research under Professor Yu Qingzhang. Professor Peng Liu is our co-author. Now let's begin. In Android, system services are critical function components. They package the low-level functionalities and provide essential higher-level functions to apps through Android API and IPC. One important but often unnoticed uh, result of the system evaluation is that the number of system services has increased in every new version from about 50 in 2.3.7 to 100 in 6.0.0. The number of system services are, increased, are continuously increased because firstly, Android needs to support emerging hardware such as NFC and fingerprint scanning. Secondly, Android needs to support new functions such as dynamic, dynamic uh, permission authorization. The system server is a dedicated process that provides most of the system services. On Android 5.1.0, the system server provides 80 services and uh, exposes more than 1,500 uh, 1, interfaces. It means that if one failure situation occurs during the handling of one service request, the whole process may be affected. Since the system server is the core, uh, core of Android application framework, such failure situation can disable some core functionalities or even cross the entire system. It is clearly a signal point of, Andro uh, signal point of failure for Android system. To understand the coming back attack, we need to understand how, how a system service is provided through IPC. Here we have an app and its target system service. They are running different processes. The communication between them are based on the banner driver uh, in Linux kernel. In order to, re to read the target service, it needs to get a ser the service ID. S um, service manager is another important process who knows the service ID of every system service, and every app knows how to read service manager. Firstly, uh, the app needs to inquire the service manager about the service ID of the target service. The communication is also through the, the binder driver. By now, the app knows, owns the target service ID. One service may expose, its different, uh, may expose different service interfaces. Therefore, the app should indict which service interface is wanted in its request message. After the handling finishes, it, the, the target service will return the result to the app through the binder driver too. Pop and callback mechanism exists during the IPC between apps and, apps and system services. It is a more flexible way to notify the app about the service result. Let's suppose that the app has already got the service ID. This service has a pre-specified servi service inter interface just like any other services. Based on this spe specification, the app should provide a callback handle to, pro to receive the results of this service. The app sends the service request to the uh, target interface. This request, which is actually an uh, Android API call, contains the callback handle. The target service will store the callback handle in its context, and it will just reply a return code, and no results are returned in at this time. When, when the result is ready, the system service will call the call meth uh, callback method to do the notification. And if the callback is synchronous, the system service will wait for the callback to return. A callback handle is actually an object of the, a service's proxy class. The core of the proxy class is a inner, an inner variable which 
which stores the service ID, usually the service ID represents a service implemented by the app. When the callback is invoked, the target service is actually conducting IPC with the app service. Every service has its unique identification uh, definition of proxy class. These classes have a common ancestor and uh, the, and when the callback handles are transmitted through IPC, they are all regarded as an object of this class. And when the callback handles arrive at the system service, they need to be transformed into the objects of concrete classy, class. We can see from this picture that there are some validation checks on line two and four. However, uh, even if this checks failed, the injected callback still will be regarded as the correct, uh, correct one on line six. Let's see what can we do with a malicious callback. Firstly, we need to take a few steps back. Now the target service, system service, wants to notify the app about the handling result. And it invokes the synchronous callback based on the received candle. The callback method will have three measures to conduct attacks. Uh, onto the system service. Let, let us have a look one by one. The first measure is to block the callback from returning. When the malicious callback is invoked, it will make its invoker, that is the system server, service, to wait for a long time by sleeping. Normally, this means no harm to the system service, but if the callback is invoked in a synchronized code block, the effect is different. Here we have an example. This vulnerability exists in the AMA, AMF, that is short for Activity Manager Service. The vulnerable service interface is the start instrument method in AMF. This interface receives a callback from the, cli from the client app. Here we have an attack map. Firstly, it will inject the malicious callback handle. In order to handle this request, AMF will start a new thread that, uh, for the handling and dispatch the request to the target service interface. And if a failure situation happens while, do, uh, while, starting, to, while starting target instrumentation, the callback will be invoked to inform the client app. Furthermore, the callback is invoked in a synchronized block. Threads that want to run the code in the block should first acquire the log, which is amf.this in this example. The log is accessible for only one thread in, the, in one point of time, and other threads must, must wait for it to be released. Our app will handle the callback invocation using its malicious service in thread B. And since the callback is synchronous, thread X will hold the AMF.this log while our thread B is sleeping. At the same time, other service requests may arrive at AMF. New threads will be started, and they may also need to hold AMF.this log to execute the synchronized block. Therefore, they need to wait for, the thread, uh, wait for thread B2. Some, some system services specially start a watchdog thread to monitor this kind of waiting. The watchdog sets a timer-based monitor for the target log. Once it finds that the log cannot be acquired in a pre preset period, it will bite on the service process, that is, the system server, and force it to, resu to restart to recover from a failure, a failure state. The second attack measure is to throw an exception. In Android, uncaught exception usually means critical crash for a Java-based program. When the target service invokes the callback in a synchronous way, the, call the malicious callback will inject an unexpected exception, which, is target, uh, which the target service cannot handle. By cannot, ha cannot handle, we mean that in current Android, some exceptions are left unhandled in, in the service implementations. This is a key observation we take advantage. Here we have an example. 
This vulnerability exists in the PMF, which is sought for package manager service. The vulnerable service interface is free storage method. It is in charge of cleaning the cat. Here we have an attack app. Firstly, it will inject the malicious callback. Thread, uh, thread, act, thread act will be started once the, once the request arrives. Because cleaning catches may take some time, PMS will dispatch the work to thread Y and uh, finish thread X immediately. After the cleaning work finishes, the callback will be invoked to make notification. The only exception, uh, the only exception that thread Y can handle is send intent exception. However, our malicious callback will return a new, new pointer exception to thread Y. It will kiss the class of the system service. Uh, uh, of the service process, that is the syst system server. The third attack measure does not need to uh, need the app to implement a malicious callback. The injected callback handle is pointing to the target service. Therefore, when the callback is uh, therefore when the callback is invoked, the target service is conducting conducting IPC with itself. However, the target service will not be willing to handle the callback invocation. It will throw an exception back, which happens to be which happens to be an unexpected one. In this way, the target service is self-poisoned by itself by the exception thrown from itself. Let us take the vulnerability in, P in the PMF as the example to see the details. Every server, every service has its own service interface descriptor. When thread Y makes the callback, it wants to contact the service whose interface descriptor is I intent sender. However, our, uh, our crafted callback handle points to PMF whose, whose interface descriptor is uh, I package manager. PMF will start thread C to handle the, hand, uh, handle the callback invocation. The first thing thread C is uh, for thread C is to check whether it is the wanted service according to the interface descriptor. Apparently, this check will fail. Security exception will be thrown from thread C to thread Y. As we have mentioned, the only exception that thread Y can handle is send intent exception. Therefore, security exception will not be handled and will result in the crash of the system server. The other victims of the vulnerability are the system apps. Some, some system services will rely on system apps to handle the service request, request. Under this situation, the target service receives the requests, but it does not handle the request itself. It will find its a assistant, that is a, that is a system app to, to help handle it. The request will be transformed to Transfer, transferred to the uh, system app, including the callback handle. After a while, when the system app finishes the handling, it will invoke the callback to do the notification. The malicious callback can rely on, uh, reply on exe unexpected exception, which, is, which will result in the crash of the application, uh, the app process. If the, call, and if the callback is invoked in an uh, activity, component, the malicious callback can also block the callback from returning. It will make the activity unresponsive until it is cured by the system. The system is designed to kill unresponsive activities. Based on these hazard, situa this hazard situations, we want to fully understand this new kind of, one of vulnerability and answer the following questions. Question one, how to detect the vulnerabilities? Question two, how many devices are vulnerable? Question three, how, how meaningful goals can be, uh, uh, malicious goals can be achieved? And question four, how to defend and prevent? Static attempt, uh, static attempt analy analysis is very suitable for the detection of these uh, new vulnerabilities. Our tool is based on a widely used attempt uh, analysis tool for Android apps named Flowjoid, which is developed based on Suit. Inter the first component of our tool is named Interface Analyzer. 
It is in charge of summarizing the information of service interfaces in the system server. Class loader loads the class files as required. Shoot is in charge of the class loading flow droid and our tool. We have, but in our tool, we have designed a plugin for the class loader in shoot. It will decide which class will should be resolved normally and which should be loaded as a phantom class. CG is short for call graph and CFG is short for control flow graph. This part is in charge of generating, generating the call graph and control flow graph starting from, the, from every service interface. IPC manager will help to analyze the tent propagation between system services and system apps. Multi-thread multi manager will, help, will solve the challenge that the system server may start more than one more than one threads to handle one service request. We do this, these two specific analyses. Otherwise, some edges will be missing in the generated C CFG. Tent analyzer will analyze the statement starting from the first statement of the target service, in service interface through the CFG to the last statement of the interface method. Uh, regarding, regarding, to, regarding the tent sources and tent sinks, please see next slide. For the native method or pattern methods, we should define some tent propagation rules. Tent wrapper can help us to do this. Our tent analyzer will provide us some vulnerab vulnerability alarms and then we will manually check the vulnerable service interfaces. The malicious callback methods will be crafted in this step, which will be leveraged to do dynamic tests. And the vulnerabilities that can be triggered will be recorded in the vulnerable vulnerability records, reports. There are two kind of tented status for the system server. Usually, the tented object will be destroyed when the handling of one service request finishes. Under this, under this situation, the system server is defined as uh, temporarily tented. The parameters of system service interfaces are defined as tented sources, and the callback invocation statement using the tented callback handles are defined as the tent sinks. Under another situation, a callback handle can stay dormant inside the context of the system server for a long period of time before its invocation is triggered by some other system service, oper system service operations. The system server will be regarded as durably tented under this, under this situation. Our strategy, strategy is to separate the tent analysis to, into two steps. The source definition in step one and the sync definition in step two is the same as the first situation, and the definition of sync global in step one. A, a and in the definition of the sync global in step one, a statement is reg regarded as a sync if a global variable is tented, and in the definition of source global, source global in step two, a global variable is regarded as a source if it is tented in step one. We apply our tool on the code of system server on Android, on Android 5.1.0. Vulnerability alarms sounded for 11, uh, for 11 service interfaces. According to our dynamic test, two alarms are found to be false positives because that there are some additional checks, such as permission check. Therefore, we, can ha we have successfully identified nine vulnerable service interfaces in six different services. They are shown in this table. The first four vulnerabilities will affect the system server directly. The vulnerability in the USB service will, service will lead to the security problem in the uh, system UI app, and the IMF, IMMF will cause the phone app to be vulnerable. The, the new vulnerabilities exist in every tested version. And according to this, new t this table, we can tell that these vulnerabilities will affect about 
98% of the entire real-world Android devices. How can attacker, how can attacker take advantage of the DOSA effects of the detected vulnerabilities to launch meaningful attacks? Here we have designed several attack scenarios to show that if DOS attacks are conducted at mission critical moments, they will have great influence on the secu system security. Our first demo is about pandering the system updating. The next six needs to update from 5.1.0 to 5.1.1. The size of the update package is, uh, was, more, was more than 100 megabytes. The, the system app, GMS, is in charge of the OTA update. Our attacker app will monitor the number of bytes received by the GMS app by invoking a Java API. This API could be, could be invoked with, by any process without limitation. And with the, when the received bytes surpasses 10 megabytes, DOS attack will be conducted immediately. The attack will result in the, result in the soft reboot of the system. Hence, the system updating is hindered. This video shows the entire attack process. Its speed has been accelerated for five minutes, uh, for five times. Our attack code is running in the background, and when the DOS happens, the user could hardly know what has led to the crash. Our second demo is to prevent the virus scanning. Our POC app is deployed on the same devices as demo one. The selected antivirus is 360 Mobile SIF, which, is a, which has a large number of users. The wire scanning of 360 is easy to be perceived because that it will start two new thread, uh, two new processes named uh, scan and engine to finish the scanning. Once the attacker app finds the scanning is being conducted, it will trigger the vulnerabilities in, in the AMS to freeze it immediately. The system will be unresponsible, uh, un unresponsive until reboot. This video shows the entire attack process. Its speed has also been accelerated five times. Now the system is unresponsive for any clicks. It, it seems just like the scanning process of 360 should be responsible for the system crash. We have another two demos about how to leverage DOS attacks, attacks to hinder critical, to hinder critical patching and make process killer useless. I will not show them one by one. You can find more details about them in our paper. The, attack, the attacks exploiting these new vulnerabilities are hard to be prevented. The best defense approach is to detect and pass the vulnerabilities as soon as possible. For the situations that a callback is, for the situations that a callback must be synchronous, the invocation statement of the callback should, firstly, not, not be in a synchronized block, secondly, be surrounded in a try catch block, which has the ability to handle every possible exception types. However, for the system server using a synchronous, for the system server using a synchronous callback is better if there is no need to receive the return of the callback, or wait for the callback to finish. My talk is over. Thank you. Yeah, we have time for a few questions. Luke Bezitaus from North Carolina State University. Um, I may have missed something, so you can let me know if it's a very simple answer. But on slide 17, you had a table of affected versions with ranges. Uh, the latest version that it showed was 6 or 6.1. Um, do you know if these attacks also affect Android version 7, or is there a reason to believe that they have all been addressed? Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't tested, uh, uh, tested it on Android 7. Uh, but the follow-up is, um, 
Have you heard any response from Google or, or Android? Yes, um, we have already reported the vulnerabilities to Google, and they have, uh, they have confirmed our findings. But not a solution? Um, I don't know how, uh, whether they have so solved this problem, but I believe they will solve them very quickly. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, actually, you know, just uh, I think it's uh, the finding is very interesting. But and for your detection tool, do you have a uh, and I uh, you know just and uh, how accurate it is and uh, what is the false port false detection rate and uh, you understand what I mean, right? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, uh, our tool is applied on the an uh, Android five point one point six zero. Uh -huh. The analyzed interface is number is. Uh, one thousand and uh, five hundred, uh, hundreds and uh, uh, seventy-two. Uh, we successfully analyzed uh, almost all of them except one. The failure is because that the uh, the class loading process has encountered some problems. We are working on solve this problem, uh, and uh, the false negatives. I have said that the, the our findings have. Uh, two false positives. Uh -huh. uh, they are cased because so there are some additional checks. The first false positive or uh, positive false positive is cased is because that the vulnerable service interface uh, may check the check the permission of the service interface invoker, uh, and uh, the permission is not applicable for normal uh, normal apps. And the second false positive is because that. The received uh, received callback handle is only the received callback handle only uh, is limited to be pointed to a system service. Other any other services will be ignored. Uh, any other handle callback handle will be ignored. Thank you. Other questions? Okay, let's thank speaker again. Maybe. Do you listen to me, Joe?